Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is the day four, and we are going to see lambda functions. So, what are lambda functions? So, a lambda function is a small anonymous function. It means that uh, we don't need to create a two three line function. We can just create a small function, and in in a sudden, when we have to create a function for checking something or for a short period of time then we can create lambda functions and these are very useful also suppose when we don't know what name to give to our function so we can create a lambda function so uh, i'll uh, show you how to make a lambda function we just simply give lambda and i am going to make a lambda function for square square of number so i'll just simply give here our argument so i'll use the keyword lambda then i'll give my argument that is x and then i'll uh, then i'll put a colon and then i'll say that x multiplied with x and what i'll do i'll just store this value store this value in a variable type and this be and this is square be our function name so whenever we'll call square and we'll give a number uh, 5 or any number you will see that 25 is the result it means 5 square 25 has been printed so is this that so simple you can do any arithmetic operation using the lambda functions very easy not only the arithmetic uh, calculations you can do anything and one more interesting thing is that here the there is no limit for this argument you can take as many as arguments but in only one expression means in only one line the expression should be only one but you can take as many as arguments you want suppose if i'll make a function for addition so i'll take here three values x y z i'll do what i'll just plus x to y then z Then I plus Z and here I change the name add and I will call add two values when I print it you'll see 13 6 plus 5 is 11 and then 2 is 13 so 13 has been printed so you can take as many as arguments now why we should use lambda functions because this can be done using the uh, earlier methods of first using the def, then giving the function name, then passing the parameters. So why to use lambda function? So lambda uh, functions are used uh, because it can be anonymously uh, given inside a function also. So I'll show this with an example. What we'll do? What we'll first we are, we are going to create. We'll, I'll first write the question now. We are going to create create a function that will take uh, we'll create a function that will take only one argument and and that argument will be multiplied and we will multiply with, with unknown numbers. So for this what we'll do, we'll just first create a, a, a function and we'll give n, we'll pass a number and then we'll return a lambda function in it we'll take one argument in lambda function and then we'll do what we'll just multiply our uh, argument x with with this number with this parameter which we have given in the function defining in first line now what we'll do we'll just simply store our we'll just simply store our uh, we'll uh, we'll give function call and store it in now 
variable called result. Now we'll print the result. So suppose we want to uh, double any number. What we'll give, we'll write here. So that the user should know what is happening. So double of the given number is. Then we'll give a the result. We'll write the result variable, and then we'll give the number which is going to multiply with two. And when we we'll run the code, we'll see that double of given number is thirty. Now we can do one more thing that we can. Again, give the value of computer three. We can again print triple of that number is, and then we we'll give the variable name. And this time again, we'll give fifteen. Now, when we we'll execute the code, you'll see double of a given number is thirteen, and you'll see triple of that number is forty-five. or in this way we can print any number with or uh, we can multiply any number with any number using the lambda function inside another function so this was it in this video we'll see in the next video till then thank you